Kelly Toby here and welcome back to the series on steps to receiving successful relationships. So I'll uh, read about the uh, theme for the day and then go into a little bit more detail on that. So the uh, theme is uh, to release any attachments to having the relationship fit a certain form. Open to the creative uniqueness of your personal relationship with your partner. So what this one is about, is about is to let go of those assumptions that we've made that relationship should take a certain form, be a certain way, uh, and uh, we can come up with those ideas uh, from various sources. So maybe from movies that we've seen or uh, the template uh, that, that's created by our, our home family and our parents and the way they've done relationship. And, and what happens oftentimes in partnership, because the two people may have came from uh, uh, experiencing looking at different styles of relationship, both of them might be attached to thinking that the way that they were raised uh, is the correct way to be in relationship. And if the partner doesn't agree with that, uh, then there becomes discord and, and feeling that they're doing something wrong, that there's something bad. So what I would suggest is, that, is for, for people to just totally let go of the places where they feel relationships should be in a, uh, done in a certain way. So just to clean the slate, so you can start from an open uh, place and then just to tune in with each other and sort out what actually works for you in, in relationship and not be concerned with what other people think or if other people are judging uh, the relationship in one way or another. It's letting go of those, those places where we think we have to fit in with somebody else's form of relationship. So what would be an example? Oh, uh, um, one, one example that, that comes up from time to time when I'm working with couples is, uh, it, it is this place where um, some couples have created a situation where they each have their own room that they go to uh, in particularly uh, in particular for 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 sleeping and i've had some some people that were almost embarrassed to tell me that because they were caught up in this idea that uh, a proper relationship uh, means that, that the, the couple should always be sleeping together. And um, so, so even though they were uh, honoring the, the place in them that, that felt they needed to have separate rooms to sleep in, they were, they were still carrying a bit of shame around it, a bit of um, a discord because of thinking in some way that they were, they were doing it wrong. And, and uh, uh, to give an example of, uh, of one of the situations, uh, was it that, that the, the couple were both uh, in different sleeping patterns. So one enjoyed getting up early in the morning and, uh, and going to, to bed early at, at night. And the other person uh, was more of a night owl, liked to stay up later um, and get up later. And what they were doing previously in the relationship because they were um, sleeping in the same bed is they were both like uh, trying to adapt their natural style to the other person in order to uh, to be able to to, to, to sleep with with each other on top of that um, what they were dealing with it, it, it was a challenge around uh, one of the people in the in the couple uh, did a lot of snoring and um, so uh, when the gentleman was trying to go to sleep and she was uh, snoring it made it uh, difficult for him to, to 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 go to sleep and he didn't like needing to be pushing at her or disturbing her sleep to wake her up to get her to turn over or to to um, to, to, to stop that snoring so 
it became an ideal thing for them to you know, set their relationship up where they both had their own rooms, their own place to, to sleep. And uh, so, the, so uh, oftentimes what they do is when they wanted to get together and, and cuddle or be intimate in whatever ways that they wanted to, uh, they would just uh, share in, in uh, one of the, the beds or the other. And then uh, on, the, on the nights that they wanted some space to, to be by themselves, then they, they had their own room that they could retreat to and, and get a good night's sleep. So that's just one of, of uh, many, many uh, examples of different styles of doing relationship. And, and so what I want to suggest today, again, is to let go of these ideas that there's a way to do perfect relationship and understand that the relationship that that you have is unique and its perfection is going to come out of you letting go of being dictated to by ideas or other people uh, about how they think that you should do relationship and instead just honor what's true for, for you and your partner. So uh, thanks for joining me today and um, if, if, if you would like to uh, access an article that by the same name, uh, Steps to Receiving Successful Relationship, it dovetails quite nicely with this video series and you can find that at the website www.kellytoby.com and then just go to the uh, article section and, and you'll find that. So thanks for joining me again today and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.